Howdy Tinker Nerds. On this episode of Tinkernut Labs, I'll be showing you how to create a Wi-Fi heat map using free software. This goes along with my Why Does My Wi-Fi Suck tutorial, where I know in that tutorial I said that I'd be showing you how to extend your Wi-Fi using household items, but I thought that this might be a better place to start. Ready? Let's start tinkering. The first thing you want to do is download the heat mapper software from the Ekahal website. It's free software, but it does require you to sign up before emailing you a download link. After it's downloaded and installed, you should see an interface like this that prompts you to import a floor map or to use a grid. You can do either one, but I have an actual floor map, so that's what I'll be using. So select it, and to the left you should see all the Wi-Fi signals that your computer can see along with their signal strength. Now to add that information to your map, you want to left click on your current location on the map and then start walking, tracing the path with your cursor along the map. Obviously this works best with a laptop unless you have a desktop on a cart with a really long extension cord. Now every once in a while, left click again so that the map can log the Wi-Fi signals along with their signal strengths at that new location. Then continue this process until you've mapped out your entire area. And then when you're done, right click with your mouse to stop. Now it will show a heat map of all the different routers in your vicinity. To see a specific heat map for a specific router, you can click on that router to change the map view. The dark green areas show where the signal strength is strongest, and as it transitions to red, that signifies that the signal is getting weaker. This free version doesn't have the option of saving the recorded data, but you can save a screenshot of your heat map for later reference. So what's the point of a heat map? Well, primarily it's to show you areas of weakness in your location where you might need to increase Wi-Fi signal strength, either by using a Wi-Fi booster, which you can learn how to make by watching this video, or by using homemade signal amplifiers, which I'll show you how to make in my next video on my main Tinkernut channel. All right, if you got any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider commenting, donating, subscribing, or following. And as always, for more, go to Tinkernut.com.